should show you guys around a bit. So this is the beach looking down that way. And all the way up. Lots of party goers. Oh, splash in the water. Splash. There's some guy digging for treasure. We might find some. Some boats over there. Sky. I don't know if you guys have seen the sky before. Okay, see you in a bit. This is now why I'm here. Yeehaw. Lots on the menu. Yeehaw. So I went for the Donaire. And I'm going to let you guys sit and relax while I eat. I eat. Very bad. I would do the same thing. Oh, if I was bad a dog. dog. I would do That's the same thing. That's not a good thing. therapy dog. <laughs> bad. Quick little
Sorry guys, I don't mean to make you hungry, but that was amazing. So that's it guys. The ocean. Gotta love it, eh? Getting out of here is gonna be tricky though. Because <clears throat> Homo sapiens sapiens loves the ocean. Yeah. Means survival. You have to park your settlement next to a river, next to life giving water. So we need to do it. We need to go outside, have parks, trees, and splash around in liquid. Yeah, that's about it. <clears throat> I wanted you guys to see something a bit different. I know I didn't walk around with the camera, it's just there are so many uh, individuals there that would uh, single you out and call the police. <clears throat> He's staring at me, filming. Is it? Water. Look at all the water. Water. There's water there. Humans, look, there's water. Do your mating dance, your mating rituals, and splash around. Disappointing though. Now the Donaire was not disappointing. That was quite good. But the uh, lack of sport bikes here was. Here comes. Yeah, it's really it's a Harley place, you know. Uh, well, no, I've said this before. It's not so much a Harley place as it is a, uh, it's a cruiser place, is what this place is, right? This whole part of the country is a cruiser place. It. Water. Liquid. Lots of liquid pooled in one spot. It's funny that Doberman that uh, walked past. I mean, obvious, <clears throat> like, you know, attack guard dog style dog, right? With the ears clipped and tail clipped and whatnot. And uh, of course, I'm the guy sitting down, and there's a little baby holding on to his leash. You know, who can do nothing at all if the dog misbehaves. And of course, there I am sitting on a bench with this Doberman's face inches away from me. And I'm the guy eating a donair, right? So the dog's very excited. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, tries to take a bite of my donair. Yeah, to be fair, if I was a Doberman attack dog, I would probably try to take a bite of someone's donair as well. And that's said as much. Yeah, I don't really watch out for people here because they're not very uh, nice. <clears throat> as a rule, they'll get away with what they can get away with, you know, in terms of driving and stuff. harsh reality of existence with other humans. Yeah. So does it get hot on a sport bike? Uh, yes and no. And I'll qualify that. Um, it gets hot if you're wearing all your gear, which you should wear, and you're stopped in traffic or 
hanging out on your bike on a hot day and the bike's not on. You're just sitting on it to look cool at uh, Tim Hortons, which is a donut type shop here. Uh, it doesn't get hot when you're riding. It really, it, it doesn't really. If you're going above 60 kilometers an hour, um, no, it doesn't get hot. Yeah, the, the wind cools you down really quickly. So yeah, even though I'm in full gear, I'm wearing a uh, mesh, and my mesh, um, you know, still has the body armor and stuff, but it's all connected by mesh, basically. So it's, it's really like wearing a t-shirt. It doesn't feel much warmer than that, if at all, right? <clears throat> Yeah, it doesn't when you're moving. It really doesn't get hot. And if you're on the highway, I mean, you're nice and cool. It's quite comfortable. So it's just when you're stopped, gentlemen, that you get hot. <clears throat> and when you're stopped, I mean, you don't need your gear on anyway. You can take it off. 